Hey guys, it's Jenny. Welcome back, finally, to a brand new Solid Gold video. If you guys follow me on Facebook, which is facebook.com slash solidgoldfish, or Instagram, you can find me on there at jennifer.links, you will know that I moved to Florida about three weeks ago, and uh, the reason for the gap in videos is because I've been just trying to figure out the whole move and settle in. It's quite the ordeal moving across country like that. So thank you for cutting me some slack and allowing me that time I needed to get everything put back together. Now the reason I moved down here to central Florida from northern Minnesota is because I actually accepted a job at a koi farm down here and they found me because of Solid Gold. They found me because of my YouTube channel, Solid Gold, and they liked the videos that I made and all the graphic design things and photography and videography that goes into it and they wanted me to come and do that for them at the koi farm, similar things. So I'm now working for the Koi Farm in Central Florida, and it's been a blast. Most of you that follow me on my social media sites uh, also know that I did bring almost all of my fish with me on the move here. I had about 10 Bristol Shabunkins that I had bred that I still had that I always meant to get rid of, but I just never did. So before the move, I did rehome them to a pet store, and I believe that pet store actually rehomed them to a hotel that had a pond. But all my other fish I did bring with me. I have four adult butterflies. There would be Sophie, Clyde, Luca, and Asha. All four of them are doing amazingly. They did really well. How I packaged them, and I can maybe do a video more in depth about this later, but I just packaged them as if I was shipping them overnight or something like that. So it was about a 36 hour drive, so it was a long drive, and I had to be really careful about how I brought not only my fish, but also my cats too, with me. It was quite the ordeal. I'm not going to go into, into detail, but it was quite the ordeal. A very long journey. But basically with the fish, I just packed them up as if I was shipping them to somebody in the mail. And to do that, I just got uh, really nice, thick fish shipping bags. They're like the plastic, I think I got four millimeter bags, and I just put enough water to cover their dorsal fin, and then I filled the rest with pure oxygen, and I put them in a styrofoam shipping, styrofoam lined cardboard shipping box, and some cool packs in there too, to keep the temperature down, because if the temperature's cooler, fish will be less stressed, they're gonna need less oxygen, they're gonna put out less ammonia, everything like that. So those four were perfectly fine, and I did bring all of the fry with me too. I think I had about 38 to 40 when I left Duluth, and now there's probably closer to 30 that are left. I don't think that it was the shipping process itself that was hard on them. I think it was the what happened after we got here. So after I got here, <laughs> Uh, my apartment that I wanted, that I was planning on moving into wasn't going to be ready for another week or so. So I had to find some temporary housing on the koi farm. There's a duplex that I stayed in, but I could not bring my fish with me because it's a biosecure facility. So I had to leave my fish at my unfinished apartment and there was construction going on around them. They tried to limit it for me. They were really nice and really respectful of my fish. But, you know, there's only so much you can do. And I wasn't able to come over and do water changes every day like I wanted to, like I would recommend you do after moving your fish like that. It was just hard on them, all those changes all at once, because once the apartment was ready, then I had to drain that tank and move them upstairs into my apartment. And just, there was a lot of shuffling around going. So there were a few losses, but the majority of the fry I do still have. and. They're doing well, they're doing really well. I do plan on selling them. I'm actually working on photographing them and getting video of them and figuring out the logistics of how I'm gonna offer them up for sale this week. So um, hopefully next week or the week after, you'll see the first batch of them coming available for sale. And if you do wanna be one of the first to know about that, um, I did set up a mailing list. So people have been asking me if I have a waiting list and no, I don't have a waiting list. I just think that would be a logistical nightmare to coordinate but I do have a mailing list now, so you can sign up for the mailing list. I will put a link in the description section below where you can go and sign up. All you do is put in your email and your first and last name. When I do offer the fish up for sale, the very first notice I will give is to that email list. So if you want to be literally like one of the first people to know when they become available for sale, the only way you can do that is by signing up for the email list. And I promise I won't abuse it. I won't give your email out to anybody else. It's only for solid gold. You can sign up for the email list if you 
even if you don't live in the United States, I can only ship fish to the United States. But anyone is welcome to join the email list because I will be using it for newsletters in the future too. So just to keep you guys updated with what's going on with Solid Gold and my goldfish adventure that you guys are on with me. So I'm really excited for that new way to keep in touch with you guys. So please go sign up for the mailing list. Link is in the description section below. It's really cool. Along with the move, I also do have a brand new P.O. box down here in Florida. So do not send mail to my old P.O. box in Duluth anymore. I don't have that one anymore. But my new P.O. box here in Florida is all set up and ready to go. So if you guys ever come across any cute little goldfish trinkets that you want to send me or you just want to send me letters or pictures of your fish or whatever it might be, I love that. And I do try really hard to reply to as many of them as I can. Um, I've been slacking on that lately just because of the move and everything, but I do try to reply to them. And even if I don't, just know that I appreciate everything that you guys send me and it's adorable and I love it. And sometimes it makes me cry because sometimes you guys send me like the cutest things and I love it. So thank you so much. And I do have a new PO box now here in Florida and I will put that information down in the description section of this video as well. You might be wondering where I have my fish now. I have them out on the balcony slash patio thing at my apartment. I'm on the second floor of this apartment complex and it's really cool. It has two bedrooms and a bathroom and then so I have you know my bedroom and then I have a separate room for my office which is where I'm filming right now and I love it because it's separate and so when I'm filming it's not like all these fish filter water noises in the background and cats in the background and everything. I can just shut the door and film. Although I know you guys do like it when my cats make little appearances. So that will continue, don't worry. And then I have a large balcony that's almost the size of this office actually, where it's really private. You know, it's not one of those that feels super open. It is right on a busy road, so I don't really like that. But anyways, the point is I have all my fish out there and I think it's really cool to be able to have them outdoors and I was worried at first about predators because there are a lot of fish eating birds around here so uh, I got some polycarbonate panels, I can't remember exactly what they're called right now, but they're polycarbonate panels that are wavy and clear and I just cut them to size and put them on top of all the tanks and tubs out there. I ran out of it after I got like four of them covered so I am just using covers from Rubbermaid bins to cover some of the tanks too and that works but eventually I do want to switch it to all that polycarbonate stuff. Alright guys well that's about it for updates today. If you have any video requests that you want me to make, you know, any subjects that you want me to make a video on, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I always read the comments, guys, and I really love replying when I can. I can't reply to every single comment, unfortunately, because I do also work 45 hours a week at a different job, so please bear with me on that, but I reply to as many of them as I can, and I at least do read and look at all of them. So. Thanks for leaving a comment below, thanks for watching, and until next time, stay gold. This video was made possible through the generous support of viewers like you. To find out more, go to patreon.com slash solidgoldfish.